what a better way to enjoy your Labor Day if you're not working than by grilling <laughs> or playing with uh, steak tongs. That's right. <laughs> Managing partner of the Longhorn Steak Hearts on West Shore, B.A. Arnott is here. Marco is here who's going to feed me. I care more about Marco over there working the grill. Guys, welcome. Look at those steaks. That looks beautiful. Happy Labor Day. Yes, Happy thank Labor you. You Day. too. Well, when you think of steaks, I mean, you do think of Longhorn. So we brought you guys in to kind of break it down for us. And I kind of have this running joke with everybody that I don't cook. And it's not a joke. It's actually very true. It's a 100% so trick, except for pizza. She, she <laughs> Apparently, I can do pizza. pizza. We discussed earlier. But, you know, I'm curious. You guys actually brought the different cuts of steaks to really break it down for those that maybe they think they know, but they need a little more education about the goodness of steaks. So what do we have here? Well, starting off here, you have our filet. This is your leanest as well as your most tender. Right. See, I knew that one. Yes, That yes. one I was good Check with. Check that out there. Look at that. Here you have a sirloin. It's also very lean. This one's extra juicy, though. Okay. And then lastly, this big boy right here is our 18 ounce bone-in ribeye. Oh, um, this is the one that has marbling through it. The whiteness you see that runs through here makes it extra tender and extra juicy. It's one of our guest favorites. So, B.A., let me ask you about the whole bone-in thing. So some people like these steak connoisseurs, they love bone-in, bone-out. What are the, the, the benefits there? Well, I mean, at Longhorn, on our grill, we have a flat top grill mm -hmm. and we have a flame grill. Yeah. Usually all bone steaks, you, we have a specific seasoning we put on there, and we right. also cook that on the open flame. The ones with the bones, I highly suggest outdoor grills. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, it, it brings there out the go. flavor and the meat more. That's why the people like the Are bone. Are you getting, like, the marrow and the bone and stuff like that? Well, it's not that you fun? eat that, but when you get closer to it, the, the meat is way juicier, way more tender. Right. Well, uh, speaking of uh, cooking here, Marco's already, I mean, you guys brought your own and little Marco, grill start here. Cutting it up, man. Right? Really, you're letting me down here. <laughs> almost ready. Almost ready. <laughs> All right. But uh, also, I mean, at Longhorn, the biggest thing when you're cooking on an outdoor grill is to boldly season our steaks like we do at Longhorn. Right. Um, we have our seasoning right here. Right. For this one, like I talked about on the outdoor grill, you want to give it two passes. So you want to go one way and then come all the way back. That's boldly. You also want to make sure that it stays in there. Marco, if the other steak's about ready, we can pull that off and put this on. So that one on a filet, though, you just want to do, you just need to do it one time. Oh, okay. So if you're cooking the sirloin and the filet, not as much seasoning well, this versus is the ribeye. The ribeye versus well, the ribeye. Anything on the open flame, you want to extra season real boldly because a lot of it will come off during oh. the cooking so process. At Longhorn, so you have your, your signature seasoning there. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some other things you guys do differently than other people? Well, I mean, the difference is we have a proprietary blend, which I couldn't even tell you what's in there. I mean, I know what's in there, but you I'm not allowed to, to tell you. Yeah, 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 yeah. One, one of those things, one absolutely. Of those kitchen knives. Yep. Marco's got the look. You know, I, I can't <laughs> know that stuff. I mean, also, the biggest thing with cooking with steaks, fresh, never frozen, like oh, we do really? in Longhorn. Always want to have fresh steaks. Right. And then we use the freshest ingredients in everything we do. Oh, cool. So I think that's what really makes us stand apart. So football season come up. A lot of people are going to be at Ray J. A lot of people are going to be out. Uh, how about some tips for people in a parking lot? Maybe they don't have everything, everything around them like cooking steaks on like hibachi tailgating stuff do you have anything for those people well tailgating i mean this is you know this is a perfect example if you have something like this you know all the new wave cars now they have plugs in them so you can use this but if you're using an outdoor grill you want to make sure you season the grill properly what i mean by seasoning is seasoning with cooking oil yeah we use canola canola oil because it has a high smoking point yeah which means it won't burn as much right which you know really helps because if not you know then the seasoning will stick to the grill and then you won't get all those flavors okay so i mean that's the biggest thing is pre-seasoning your grill before cooking the steaks okay well and i think the old age-old debate is how do you know when the steak is done? And I hear you've got a little secret that I'm go totally going to call you out on for you to show <laughs> us what this is. Well, I mean, first of all, before we talk about that, I mean, the easiest way is if you use a grill thermometer, which you can pick up at any grocery store, you want to stick it in the side into the middle and, you know, give you the temp. What, so in the side of it? Right. So you want to go in from the side no to kid. temp ah, it. Yeah, because if you go so right down the middle, it's not going to be as accurate. You are a genius. All right, that's a great tip. But okay. if, if you want to, since you both want to talk, if you want to talk about how to have a steak, hold your hand out like this, your uh -huh. left hand. Right. You're going to need your right hand, so you have to put the tongs oh, down. Oh, it's got to put his tongs down. down. So press right there. Uh-huh. Right okay. there, you're feeling rare. Okay, now put your next, your forefinger right there. Oh. That's mid-rare. Now do your middle. That's medium, it feels like. Right here is mid-well. 
And then oh. the last one would be well done. You see how there's a nice. difference in feeling? Oh my gosh, that's really good. So you can good. use that at your next party. Look at that, that's Wait, good. That's, and you know that what that is? is? Cool. That's metal right there. That's right. <laughs> Just a little if you want to, you know, mix it up a bit. Well, Marco, cut me up. Come on, Marco. Yeah. He's yeah, wanting yeah, some. Right. And while we're cutting into there, I'm already eyeing your desserts. Of oh, course, yeah. we want to talk, talk about, about the steaks, but you do have some Well, some of these out up front are our peak season items. Um, four times a year, obviously the four seasons, we come out with new items. So, you know, to, to spice things up a little bit, that, you know, match the season that we're in. Right there is our uh, bourbon cinnamon bites, which is with the Maker's Mark bourbon. Uh, just so you know, when we, we make the Maker's Mark bourbon, all the alcohol is cooked off, so kids can eat that. And me too. Yeah. Yes, Aw, that's nice. And then here we have uh, bison meatballs, which are, you know, bison meat, which we have shipped in. Um, very tasty. Can I eat that right now? Go right ahead. Nice. Pull them on over. Bison meatballs. And this type of year, you know, this time of year, we do the uh, blue, blue Ridge oh. salad. Yeah, that's delicious. <laughs> Here's the thing we always forget. <laughs> I've got you covered. I've Aww, learned the hard way. Thank you. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for coming in today. We really do appreciate it. Do you want to dive into the steak as we're Absolutely. as I'm all continue slam to my wrap? Face into that steak. <laughs> <laughs> so one of us can at least talk and say what's coming up. I can't wait to dive into the dessert. Absolutely. But guys, it's all thank yours. you so much. We really appreciate the tips My and everything. Pleasure. Thank you so in. much. Happy Labor Day, guys. Happy Labor Day. Happy Labor Day. Happy Labor Day. And Labor Day.